Abertillery. Abertillery, meaning mouth of the river Tyleri, is the largest town in a community of the Ebufac Valley in what was the historic county of Monmouthshire, Wales. Following local government reorganization it became part of the Blaine County Borough Administrative Area. The surrounding landscape borders the Brecon Beacons National Park and the Blynavon World Heritage Site. Formerly a major coal mining center the Abertillery area was transformed in the 1990s using EU and other funding to return to a greener environment. Situated on the A467 the town is north of the M4 and south of the A465 heads of the Valley's Trunk Road. It is about by road from Cardiff and from Bristol. According to the 2001 census and information gathered by the Welsh Language Board, 1,146, 9.9% of Abertillery speaks Welsh. In the 2011 census, this figure dropped to 7.2%, a 2.7 percentage point drop. Abertillery's traditional style town centre mainly developed in the late 19th century and as such has some interesting Victorian architecture. Spread over four main streets, the town in its heyday had two department stores and a covered Victorian arcade linking two of the main shopping areas. These were all included in a Blainogwent Borough Council remodeling and modernization project using European Union funding in a £13 million program spread over a five year period ending in 2015. The project included a new multi story car park a revamp of public areas and the town's Metropoli Theatre. This Borks award-winning building provides state-of-the-art production, exhibition, conference and meeting facilities as well as housing Abertillery Museum. In March 2014 Prince Edward, the Earl of Wessex, officiated at the launch of Jubilee Square, a public facility in the town centre next to St. Michael's Church. Major industry came to the area in 1843 when the locality's first deep coal mine was sunk at Tier Nicholas Farm, Quintillery. The town developed rapidly thereafter and played a major part in the South Wales coalfield. Its population rose steeply, being 10,846 in the 1891 census and 21,945 ten years later. The population peaked just short of 40,000 around the beginning of the 1930s. Eventually there were six deep coal mines, numerous small coal levels, a tin works, brickworks, iron foundry and light engineering businesses in the area. Just one of the coal mines, Quintillery, produced over 32 million tons of coal in its lifetime and at its height employed 2,760 men and boys. In 1960 an underground explosion at Six Bells Colliery resulted in the loss of life of 45 local miners. Fifty years later the Archbishop of Canterbury Rowan Williams officiated at the launch of the Guardian Mining Memorial. This artistically acclaimed monument standing at 20 meters tall overlooks Park Ariel Griffin, the now reclaimed and landscaped former colliery site. The adjoining Thai Ebufak Visitor Center provides conference facilities, a restaurant and a Mining Valley experience room. Not long after the disaster the renowned artist L.S. Lowry visited the area and recorded the scene. The resultant landscape painting now hangs in the Museum of Wales in Cardiff. The coal mines remained the predominant economic emphasis until the general rundown of the industry in the 1980s. Away from the town centre, the often steep-sided nature of the landscape imposes its own demands on development. Whilst this sounds limiting it has helped provide the almost amphitheatre nature of Abertillery Park often described as one of the most attractive rugby ground sign world rugby. The street plan and housing stock flow uninterrupted from Quintillery in the north to Six Bells in the south, forming the town that is Abertillery. Prior to 1974 local government was provided by Abertillery Urban District Council, AUDC. Its area included the small neighboring villages of Abervieg, Lanhilleth, and Brynethal. Historical data relating to Abertillery occasionally refers to this odd area meaning that it can be difficult to compare like with like. For example, the 2014 population for the wider conurbation area is around 20,000 rather than the 11,000 often quoted for Abertillery itself. Whilst in the main the area has an older housing stock there are several developments of modern, often large homes, generally found on the outskirts of the town with views out over the surrounding area. These apart. Terrace Council Tax Band A and B properties predominate, meaning that average house prices are among the most affordable in the UK. There are very few written historical records relating to the area before the town developed in the middle of the 19th century. Nevertheless, there are facts that you can use to outline important events. Before the coming of major industry, Abertillery was little more than an area of scattered farms in the ancient parish of Aberystruth. In 1779, the parish minister Edmund Jones described the area thus 
the Valley of Tyleri, is the most delightful. The trees, especially the beech trees, abounding about rivers great and small, the hedges and lanes make these places exceeding pleasant and the passing by them delightful and affecting, in these warm valleys, with the prospect of the grand high mountains about them would make very delightful habitations. In 1799 clergyman and historian Archdeacon William Cox toured the area and in writing a diary of his travels described it as, richly wooded, and highly cultivated, we look down with delight upon numerous valleys, with romantic scenery. The entire population of Aberystruth Parish at the turn of the 19th century was just a little over 800. It is not known what the population of Abertillery was at the time but it was probably in the very low hundreds, all of whom would have spoken Welsh only. The area's first deep coal mine was sunk in 1843. The first reading rooms were set up in Abertillery in 1856. However, when Thomas Powell took over the Tillery Colliery in 1882 he made a commitment to establish educational facilities for his workers. Formed in 1877, Abertillery Urban District Council incorporated the adjoining smaller communities of Six Bells, Quintillery, Brynathal, Aberbeag and Len Hillif. The population of this conurbation climbed to almost 40,000 in 1931 making it the second largest town in Monmouthshire. The council was abolished in 1974 as part of major UK-wide local government reorganisation. The reopening of Abertillery Railway Station has been identified as a future development of the Ebu Valley Railway. The modern local comprehensive provides secondary education for the town and neighbouring areas. It is fed by several small schools, the most recent of which was opened in 2000. Until the 1970s the town had its own local authority-run grammar school providing education up to the age of 18. Tertiary education is now provided by Caleg Gwent at Ebuvale, opened in 2013. There are several small and medium-sized business parks in the area offering a range of business premises. In 2014 the largest employer was Tyler I Valley Foods. Many local people commute outside the area to work. Abertillery Town Cricket Club and Abertillery Blainagwent RFC formed in the 1880s. Both have their playing headquarters at the park one of the most picturesque sporting complexes in the UK. The town supports two local Saturday football teams, Abertillery Bluebirds and Abertillery Excelsiors. There are numerous other sports activities running on an organized basis such as bowls, badminton, squash etc. The surrounding landscape provides hill walking opportunities and walker-led groups are thriving in the area. One example is Ebu Fact Wreckers Walking Group. The local museum has displays showing what life was like in the area in its heyday. It also has its own Valley's Italian Cafe complete with original furnishings. The Metropole Theatre holds musical and drama events from blues to amateur dramatics and dance. The Guardian Memorial is a destination for visitors to South Wales and amateur photographers in particular as evidenced by TripAdvisor. The visitor centre Thai Ebufax stands nearby and provides cafe and visitor mining valley experience facilities. Find local people of note in the fields of civil engineering, sport, science, medicine, religion and art. Abertillery is twinned with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.